Well, let's see what cinema this is. And we both came here. Not exactly. Specific task. Visiting a lower agent partner so they run on a threshold. Okay, it's gonna be them too, okay. Right from the cover of the story. I'll get ready then. See inside the hollow. Cool. We dive straight there. Let's go. Open this DM, right? You've been burning for so much more lately. That's Bill has put all time while doing all those extra commissions. I need more power. Or is that something I would advise cutting back on? Recent expenses. I overpaid for an old civilization video table I was talking about in Travis. I bought Galaxy, but didn't get the collector's items. The points to pull gachas at the gachas store. I don't think it's like a rich one day. Sound like one in the road lottery. Yeah, about that. The, that commission done via the HDT. Let's go. So, what's gonna happen during this easy commission? I wonder. Okay, I'll keep it in trial, why not? Wait, I don't think I've ever heard this song. Let me turn up voices a little bit. Ouch. Yo, what the fuck? You know, I always say this one of his pipe, but she like she plays pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Like if you have Caesar Bernice Piper, this team is beating everything as well. Like you don't need him.
That's all. For now, just a bunch of combat, eh? Thank you. Looks like luck isn't. Here they come again. Oh no. Why is cutting like one Don't FPS? Worry. Don't worry. Feels Leave like. Okay. Shit. <laughs> nah, she bugging too much. It's about time we wrap this up. This is my time. Yeah. <laughs> nah, she thinks she's bad. Oh, thank you, little ones. And this cutie bang boo, of course. Don't mention it. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you don't have to thank me. Just thank Bernice. Are you really fine? Getting attacked by ethereals at your age is no laughing matter. <laughs> she looks really tough and much more spirited than you, Piper. Oh, <laughs> such a sweet young lady. Keep it coming. I love hearing these things. Okay. I hope I'll be a spirited Not humble at all, I see. I'm not 90 years old. Damn, she just said that. Bernice, is that your name? Thank you for rescuing me. I want to do something for you in return. Where do you work? I'll write you a thank you letter. Uh, getting a thank you letter for doing a good deed is so not rock and roll for a biker gang from the Outer Ring. True. Oh, is that so? Then do you want money? I have a lot of it. Uh, no, money can't convey my gratitude. Mm. Yeah, that's a weird flex, but okay. Uh, wait, uh, don't be so quick to decide. <laughs> uh, Bernice, hey, Bernice, say something. Take the money. Uh, you're right. There's no need to give us money. Money was the furthest thing from our minds when we saved you. Uh, please, just take care of yourself and live a healthy life until you're 90. Oh, you could have taken the money. I want to live longer than that. But you really are a nice young lady. All right, then please take this. It'll bring you good luck. Is that a lottery ticket? We were winning the lottery. I grabbed one while I passing get. by the store. The friendly clerk there chose the numbers for me. My palms started getting hot when I purchased it. So I think it's a lucky ticket. I've lived more than enough years to know that this is a sign of Lady Luck smiling at me. I'm sure it's worth at least two million. Right. Two million? I'm gonna fill a swimming pool with nitro fuel and make Piper teach me how to swim. Uh, but I don't know how to swim either. Is it already getting to your head? Supplies one pop from proxy escort old lady. Okay. Proxy. Are we thinking the same thing? Are we? About the lottery ticket getting to Bernice's head? Of course. Bernice's endearing quality is her unwavering optimism. Ah, that's what I love about her. So I don't want to be here feeling down. Reality always brings you down, doesn't it? Though it's a pain, I'll take it upon myself to remind her of the reality. Hey, you're back! Guess what I'm thinking about? Three, two, one. That's right! I'm thinking about how we should split that huge prize of two and a half million between the three of us. You wanna, huh? Okay. We only left for ten minutes and the prize money has already grown by an imaginary 500,000? I wish my dogs could do that. Oh, I thought you'd be happy, Piper. Didn't you always like discussing the lottery with other truck drivers? It's not the actual tickets we love. 
It's the prize money. Ah, Bernice, listen to me. Lottery tickets are a mix of statistics and pure dumb luck. But in the end, it's 95% statistics and 5% the dark side of society. Got it? <laughs> I, I, don't don't it I hope you never do. It's too complicated for me to explain in detail. But a bet casually placed with numbers picked by the store, you might have a slim chance of winning a small prize. A big prize? <laughs> no way. But the results haven't been announced yet to say there's no way uh, don't give me one of those sports comic book lines like the opponents at their match point but we haven't lost yet anyone who's made a bet knows miraculous victories only happen in comics <sighs> let me take a look at the ticket the time on the ticket's still there so it should be for tonight's draw oh on tv cool can't wait <sighs> hey proxy i need to talk to you it's practically impossible for this ticket to win, but I don't want Bernice to be alone when she gets disappointed. So, Bernice, let's head over to the video store on 6th Street to watch the draw, mm. okay? We can watch it together. Okay. Yes, I will go. Why are they over here? I'm buying another one. It's one free bottle. Okay, she's winning. Okay. Spin the jackpot between the three of us. After she gets, okay. I could be just chatting about her, like in front of her, she doesn't care or hear, I guess. numbers let's hope for a fourth cup Well, two numbers are <laughs> what? Now, wait a second. We really won, and it's the jackpot of three million. Three million Denny's. We'll get one million each! Huh? Wait, you were serious when you said that you planned to split the prize with us? Of course! She gave it as a thanks to all three of us. So obviously, the prize should be split evenly among us. Bernice. Huh? What is it? <sighs> it's nothing. You're such a good kid, Bernice. Bernice, thank you so much. I really needed this one million pennies. What's with the sudden praise? I just did what anyone would do. You two would do the same in my shoes, right? I don't know about the proxy, <laughs> but my heart is likely as grimy as a truck's exhaust pipe, whereas Bernice's heart shines like a truck's headlights. The sexiest part of a truck isn't the headlights. It's the engine. Oh, when will my heart be able to rumble like an engine? <sighs> it's so nice to be young. 
Anyway, according to the show, it looks like the prize money won't be given out for a while. Then, shall we get going, Piper? Thanks for everything, Proxy. We'll contact you when the prize money arrives. Oh, don't worry. This lottery ticket is too important to lose. I'll make sure to keep it safe. Hehe. <laughs> No, don't say he he. Hey, it's bad luck to say something like that. I Why the he he at the end? Oh safe. no. Make a break. Wait, do I get a 1 million? Please, I need the money. Okay. Let's go. No, she lost it. Something's gone wrong. What? This might actually be that serious, but... She's been missing all the money can get... Nah, you stole it. There's no way she loves us, there's no way she ran off with it. I do somewhere about Ben and Bernice, both one of a kind. So they're worried about Piper's safety, you know? I don't know how long since yesterday, check testing out the vehicle. She might as well be down there. Let's go. Get like attacked for her son. From this incoming, I'll do my best. <laughs> the emoji face. Okay. It's cinema time. Okay, we found her. Whoa. She's actually trapped. Did she got captured. Hey. First gives my family. Found out. Can I for the lottery ticket? That's too much. We're gonna like end up donating money to these guys. Yeah, but you do become invisible when you search it too. That's interesting. Nothing to it. Yeah. 
from the sons of Caledon. They're too much for us to handle. <laughs> but a real man fights against the impossible. That lottery okay. ticket will not only cover my ex-wife's child support, but also help protect our lands. Damn. Impressive! Using someone else's lottery ticket to pay for your own child support. You're still worried about protecting your lands? What a hero. I'm sure your child would be proud. <laughs> Shit, not lucky, I guess. Okay. Uh, trust me, Bernice doesn't mean any harm. That's just the way she talks. I know I may not be a good father, but I grew up in the Outer Rig, and I love these lands to the depths of my soul. I loved my wife too, but these lands remain my greatest love. I'll protect it with my life. Even if some crazy fuel maniac with a billion in prize money plans to buy the entire area as her own fuel testing site, I'll fight to the bitter end. Uh, who's this fuel maniac who sounds even greater than me? Could you introduce me to them? I think he's talking about the rumored version of you. Right. Huh? Me? Uh, huh? I never do that. Uh, but now that you mention it, who do I buy the Outer Rings lands from? Well, also, the prize isn't even a billion. It's just three million. Just three million. Uh, <laughs> if I had that kind of money, my child support would... Boss, now's not the time to be talking about child support. It seems you've fallen for the most extreme version of the rumor, but she doesn't actually have any such plans. Wow, well, look at this now guy. Now that I think about it, setting fire to the outer ring sounds pretty cool. Take it easy, Bernice. We're just about to clear up the Yes, let's do it. came charging at us but now you're trying to put on a sad starving act now we're the bad guys hey bernice say something okay i've decided she's gonna give them money dare i ask what you've decided to provide self-service snacks during the first bernie's cup seven days and nights unlimited drinking festival of course a heart needs more than nitro fuel to keep pumping did i miss something the first what the first Bernice Cup Seven Days and Nights Unlimited Drinking Festival. Uh, what's that? I haven't mentioned it to you. Oh, I don't think I have. Well, it's all right. I can just tell you now. I plan to use my one million to buy different flavors of premium nitro fuel and drink with everyone in the outer ring for seven days and nights straight. What do you think? I'm sure everyone will love it. Hey. Well. Nitro fuel and snacks? And we're all invited? Boss, you're not dreaming. It's a promise straight from Bernice of the Sons of Caledon. Yep, that's right. You can even bring along your ex wife and daughter. Oh, wait. How old is your daughter? Wait, did he say he has a daughter? She said he has a child. Like you guys trying to rob a saint! We weren't so tired from hunger. 
We'd be tossing you into the air and cheering right now. Wow, I want to get tossed up in the air. The next time you see me, you have to toss me. It's a promise. Of course, of course we will. We'll get going then. Bye. Proxy said the nearest hollow exit is over there. Where's the big girl? Okay. treating everyone to nitro fuel and leave nothing for yourself? Absolutely. I've been wanting to do it since before I had a million. Oh, everyone's gonna be so happy. Don't tell me you want my idea. Mm. You can host a nitro fuel party, but it can't be called the Bernice Cup. You've got to come up with your own name. Oh, don't worry. We would never consider doing something like that. Compared to you, the proxy and I are normal people. As ordinary as they come. We have lots of things we want to do and spend our money on. That's why we'll spend our money on improving our own lives. Right, Proxy? Of course. Well, that's nice. Now everyone has one million. <clears throat> Tell me, you got crazy attacks in the city, but it's like a couple hundred thousand. What? Nah. Split up only 300k. Hold up, nah, they got one million. What scam? These taxes that's crazy. We're gonna take the taxes back. And that's probably like the party, right? Let's see. Or not, because we still have to fight, apparently. I'm done, I'm just. Nothing's gonna be coming out, so I can't perk myself up. I'm used to it. Smile, police. I was really happy. Should have a DM. See if they want to come. Okay. Or. Why not? Hey, Pansy. Hello. Damn. How have you been? Don't ask. So many things have happened recently. I'm finding it hard to even smile. Damn. What, what? happened? Ugh, the atmosphere is so heavy. It's like a fly got stuck to a mousetrap. What happened to the smile you had when leaving with the one million that day? An adult smile vanishes with their money. It's gone? One million is still a huge sum after tax. But it's gone already? Huh, I know you've been modifying Steel Tusk. Did you make it run on Denny's or something? Not quite, but close. You know I've been trying to improve Steel Tusk's performance. So, once I had the money... I immediately started searching for the best parts on the market. That's when someone contacted me, saying there was a top-of-the-line truck engine that came from a source with an interesting backstory. Now she goes scammed. Oh, it was such a beauty. I bought it as soon as I saw it. Didn't even haggle. Bernice, you were there at the test drive after we installed it on Steel Tusk, right? Oh, I remember. Steel Tusk won't lose to any vehicle in a contest of speed now. Uh, 
Too bad it ran out of gas after just three kilometers, or I would have driven it for the entire day. Right. <sighs> That's the problem. I used premium fuel, but the engine's design sacrifices efficiency for power. With the heavy truck and cargo, even a full tank only lasts three kilometers. Yeah, Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency does seem to have a problem. Three kilometers? Ooh, that's like a school bus. Obviously, I had to do something about it. I even considered reinstalling the old engine, but... I knew I couldn't go back after I put my hands on its steering wheel and got a taste of its speed. So, I needed another solution. Call me desperate, but I bought every exotic energy-saving part I could find on the market, consulted an expert who charged 10,000 denies per hour, and even tried to modify the engine myself. Well, hey. long story short, I spent all that money for nothing. That's so touching. You're like a husband who won't give up on his terminally ill wife. Sure. Don't say my wife. No, I mean, don't say my truck is terminally ill. I don't know if this will make you feel better, Piper, but I've blown through all my money, too. <laughs> you too, Proxy? I know you citizens of New Eridu pay several times more tax than us, but even then, how expensive could it be to modify your little car? I didn't modify my car. The expenses just piled up. After paying taxes and settling the overdue electricity bill, I lent the rest to a friend to invest. I think people in our situation should just stay away from investments, let alone lending money to a friend to invest. Uh, on the bright side, the prize money hasn't disappeared, it's just turned into an IOU. Stay positive and hopeful like Bernice, and maybe one day you'll see the money again? Aw, thanks for the compliment. I, I wasn't... Fine. I was complimenting you. It looks like you used your prize money in the best way possible. The proxy and I both thought this money could change our lives. But the happiness didn't last, and life feels even more difficult now. The proxy has to worry day and night about the return on investment, while I constantly worry about how long Steel Tusk can keep running. How did this happen? Bernice, what was on your mind when you spent that money? What was on my mind? Huh. I don't think there was anything on my mind, really. Sounds about right. always notice things in life that need changing? Oh, is it because you're smart and observant? Eh, I have everything I want. I have fuel, nitro fuel, and the best friends in the world. When something new comes up, I'll take it in stride. Like how you were new to me, Proxy. But now we're friends. And I know that you like me for me, so I don't need to change anything about myself. Not that I would. Not for you, anyone, or anything. That's why I'm dragging you two along with me to complete commissions, even though I know you're both in a bad mood. Maybe you'll cheer up after getting some action. You kind of have a point. Let's do some commissions. I'll lead the way. Sure. Let's go. I couldn't make it. No. It's selling hot dogs, juice, and souvenirs. Damn. Oh, so she made money as well. Damn. Hmm.
Bro, Piper's attack speed is so slow though. Damn. Wait, I need a Denise. I'm broke. back here stop teleporting that's cheating whoa oh my god okay Youngsters. I'm guy. Cutie bang boo, of course. What is happening? Don't mention it. I'm glad you're okay. Wait, is it just me, or does it seem like this old man is about to pull out a lottery ticket to show his gratitude? You? How did you know? I haven't taken out the lucky lottery ticket I use as my lucky charm yet. <sighs> I knew it. Is this one of those pranks that you kids are into these days? Or was I right all along about the impending doom of the world and the new Eridu government monitoring everyone? Wow, it's a wonderful thing. But calm down first. At the very least, I can guarantee that I, Bernice, am not a government agent. Uh, I can't vouch for the two next to me, though. Hey, you've known us for ages. Vouch for us. Oh, fine. Since you look like my mm, first love when she was young, I'll take your word for it. Uh, here, take this lottery ticket. It'll bring you good luck. Thanks. Is this a miracle lottery ticket that can win three million? A miracle? Miracles are worth so much more than just three million. Since I started carrying this lottery ticket, I've never had a bad day. Such an oh, that's why she's getting lucky. Because of, of the lottery ticket. More than 30 million. Amazing! Is 30 million enough to transform a volcano into a nitro fuel fountain? 30 mil? I don't need that much. 10 million is more than enough to solve all of Steel Tusk's problems. If I recall correctly, you were just in a pile of ethereals. Is that what you call incredible luck? I really can sense a lucky energy from this lottery ticket. It feels warm and sticky. What? Th that's probably the old man's hand sweat. Come to your senses, Bernice. Oxy, stop overthinking things. This 30 million could ease all the hardships of an adult's weary life. Now's the time to celebrate. If I were in the car, I'd be honking like mad. We're doomed. Piper's pupils have become Denny signs. I've only ever seen that happen in a call. True. I'm going to be the goddess of a volcanic lake filled with nitro fuel. Did you drop this bottle of vintage drink? Or that glass of dearest special? Steel tusk, wait for me. I'll never give up on you. 
I'll make you the best truck in the history of the Outer Ring. <laughs> Don't just stand there, Proxy. The live broadcast of the lottery is over, but we can still check the winning numbers in a newspaper. Bernice and I will look for a newspaper. We'll wait for you to come and witness this miracle moment. Oh. Are we... Okay, record to the winning numbers. Want to check the magazine numbers and ticket? Yeah. What? first no i want to hear the good news first i think it's about time something good happened in my life i want to uh -huh. hear the good news too i'm the type who always hears the good news first well the good news is we won the 30 million jackpot i knew it i knew it this is cruel but you still need to hear the bad news this ticket was issued more than a year ago I check the conditions, and the redemption period is one year. The redemption period ended one month ago, which means the prize money has been returned to the pool. No way! So you're saying we have no claim to the 30 million anymore? <sighs> if you think about it from another perspective, maybe the 3 million we won before is part of this 30 million! True. <sighs> Uh, what do you think, Piper? Does thinking about it like that make you feel better? <laughs> That's more like it! There's nothing I love more than Piper's joyful smile and infectious laughter! That smile looks like the opposite of happiness. A facade hiding the heart behind three locks. I knew it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. I once thought I understood everything, but now I know that I don't understand anything at all. Sorry, Steel Tusk. I'll reinstall your old engine and return to my old life. <laughs> What's wrong with that? After all, the characters all return to their old lives at the end of Adventure Stories. I don't understand. But I'm sure about one thing. You mustn't reinstall the old engine. What will I do with the new fuel formula I spent all night researching if you do that? Oh, what's that? You have a new fuel formula? Oh, didn't I tell you? While thinking about Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency issue after our last test drive, it hit me. Why not tackle a fuel problem with a fuel-related solution instead of making hardware modifications? I already tested the effects of my new formula with Steel Tusk this morning. What? How did it go? Eh, I guess it was okay. It consumed about 10% more fuel than the old engine. I added a little more of the good stuff to the formula. Mm, but the cost increases a bit too. But I'm sure you'll be okay with it if it means Steel Tusk can perform at its best. Oh, you're right. This solves Steel Tusk fuel consumption problem i know i know what you want to do most right now is to test it out right i should have enough of the test fuel to fill up the tank i'll fill it up now it won't be long okay she's so amazing the charm of a return to everyday life ending perhaps it's because the everyday includes friends like bernice and you proxy Compared to suddenly getting rich and feeling lonely after a major life change, 
Maybe this isn't so bad. <sighs> no, I still really want to get rich. What should I do? I get it. I want to get rich too. Right? I knew you'd understand. But maybe Lady Luck prefers innocent people like Bernice more than realists like us. <laughs> the tank is filled to the brim. Full speed ahead, Steel Tusk! Vroom, vroom! <laughs> well, I'm off now. You take care, Proxy. Don't worry. I'll be sure to call you the next time Bernice enters a hollow to save some old people. Sounds good. I have less done, but helping a Piper for predicaments. Be good. Our saving mode. Oh. We could just fade and yeah. And now we're fine as well. <laughs> 